Hey, what's going on guys? This is Darwin and this is another episode of Motocross That's Why. On this episode, I want to talk about Anaheim 1 on January 3rd. As you all may know, new riders change teams like Barsha went to the JGR Yamaha team. Roxon joined team with Ricky Carmichael and joined RCH Racing. Roxon is coming to this season with a lot of momentum. Winning the motocross championship, beating Dungey by what, like 14 points I think it was? Yeah, it was. So a lot of people are choosing Roxon to win it and who wouldn't you know who wouldn't that kid is talented as you all may know jumping from the 250 class this year was a good idea and right timing right timing I guess he has the be he had the best manager and now he decided to part ways you know he just he felt like Dungy was the main rider there and stuff so and he really didn't feel comfortable with the KTM even though he won the championship but he he grew up riding Suzuki, so I don't blame him for going back. But I think I think he's gonna be strong. He I think he's going to be strong for sure. But as we all know, he tends to fade away at the other half of the season. So who knows? This year he can get he can go all out, you know. Plus he trains with Alden. Alden Baker, you know, and he builds champions. We all know that. And what about James Stewart? Is he gonna race or not? Who knows? I guess we're gonna have to find out and see if he's gonna race or not. Even though everybody wants him to race, that that guy is just too exciting to not let him race. So that's that's one. Um, I think that's bull crap. That if they don't let him race because he took what. Adderall, I think it was. It wasn't even like steroids or anything like that. So I don't know why it wouldn't let him race, you know. That's just stupid on my part, but that's my opinion. Another guy I want to talk about is Dungey. You know, he's some people are writing him off. See, he's falling off the pace. Last time he won a championship was in 2010. You know, so when the competition wasn't that, that tough. But he got it done that year, and he's looking to win another championship come next year. So, and that's a guy I'm picking. So, yeah, that's that's my guy. He has the best manager, Roger DeCosta. He has Carlos Rivera, excellent mechanic. He has one of the best bikes, the KTM 450 SXF, which is like five pounds lighter. I heard so. They're changing stuff around, so hopefully next year will be a good year for Dungey and the whole Rebel KTM team. Next guy is Dean Wilson, his, te he, his teammate. He's joining the 450 class. I thought he was going to ride for Chad Reed, but I guess that didn't go as planned. So he went to Rebel KTM, and I'm excited to see what he's going to do on the, on, the, on the KTM, you know. A lot of people are saying he's he'll be he'll be a top five type of guy, maybe top ten for me, but that's my opinion. Um, another guy will be Justin Bogle. Is he gonna defend his championship? You know, like is he gonna fall? Is he gonna? I mean, what's what's the, the stuff, man? I mean, Martin Davalos is in the four, two fifty class, yeah, yeah. So he's not racing against Bogle. But, yeah, um, I'm excited to see what this season brings. I can't wait for January 3rd to come already. I'm tired of seeing videos of YouTube of old races, so I want it to come. And I can't wait for the Super Cross season, you know. On the next episode, we'll talk about the riders, you know, some, some more riders. But let's just keep it for, for those few right now. And another question. I want to tell you guys, should I start vlogging? Do you do you guys want me to start vlogging? Or no, like, because I was starting to feel like I want to vlog for you guys and so you guys can know me better. So let me know in the comments, one, who do you guys have for Anaheim 1 
450 class and 250 class and second do you guys want me to start vlogging every day so you guys let me know and comment down below subscribe and that'll be all for now Bram.